Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Undrafted to MVP on Madden 19. Uh, we are going into weeks 6 and 7 in this episode. We have the New England Patriots and the Carolina Panthers, so hopefully a bit more of a test. But as you can see, our first game against the Patriots, they are 1-4. and four. And the reason for that is that Tom Brady is retired. They currently have a rookie playing at quarterback. So let's simulate the training and get into our first game at Gillette Stadium. So simulating the training gave us another player point to upgrade. So uh, let's go with let's go with field general again. We got up to an 86 overall, so I, I like that. Um, it, and you know, it gives us one on play action, accuracy one accuracy mid, two accuracy short, and one on the run. So we are looking more and more like an NFL quarterback. 83 short accuracy is still quite bad, but 88 mid and 91 deep is, is pretty good. And 92 throw, throw power is about average. So let's get into our game against the Patriots. So no Brady gives us a bit of a chance to shine in this game. It means that we're not competing against one of the greatest of all time. So we're going to, for some reason, I've just come straight out in level sale. It's just the plays I use on Ultimate Team all the time. So we're going to hit Zeke as I would on Ultimate Team, and we get six yards. Uh, it's something that I want to do every game, is just make sure that Zeke gets a load of carries. He will be the bulk of our offense, I think. Now he's been taken down by his face cage there, I'm going to assume. Let's go, Zeke. I mean, he's still got four. Let's go. Oh, that cutback lane was almost there, but they sent a blitz with Chung, and that was it. Looking at ideally Julius Thomas or Olsen on this, but uh, if we can hit Michael Thomas, then all the better as well. And Olsen is open quite deep downfield, really, on that. It took a long time to develop, but we got there. We go five wide and uh, hopefully hit Michael Thomas on this. But if they've done their homework, they'll know who we're hitting. They've done their homework a bit by the looks of things there. Okay, I'm not even sure if this is... This looks like man. Oh, a high point pass. As if Thomas didn't get his feet down. Oh, my word. Hopefully, somebody will be open for a touchdown. We're going to block. We're going to make sure Zeke's blocking. They are playing zone, that's for sure. I'm going to hit Thomas over the middle. Wide open. Touchdown. 13th passing touchdown of the season. So without Tom Brady, the Patriots are looking pretty pitiful. And uh, Ryan Allen has managed to pin us back on our six yard line, but we'll give it to Zeke. Not that he got anything out of that. This is obviously one that we've had a lot of success with, throwing to Ola Wale and Michael Thomas, to be fair. Uh, it's a blitz, so we'll hit through that far too late. They send a blitz here, pretty much screwed, but uh, they're not. They're playing zone. Oh no. Forced it in and intercepted. Really bad throw. Really bad decision as well. You can't gift New England points, not a Gillette field. Or Gillette Stadium, should I say. So, stick. There's Thomas, wide open. Hopefully Elliot can break some runs and we'll get ourselves a nice drive. Uh, we need to increase that. Not that we've had much over the last three carries. We'll keep going to stick. In fact, I'm going to take off this time. Well, I tried. Let's cover three. Ideally, I want to hit Moncrief or Michael Thomas with this. Or it's not. It's cover two. And Michael Gallup brings it in with a one-handed grab. Wow. New England are challenging it. Brilliant. I think he was in. He was. Just shows that Michael Gallup is a baller now. Why did 
There was a clear lane in, like on the, the left side there for Elliot to go up where the blockers had made a hole and he cut it back. Oh, Texas play. And there's Olsen with a good catch. Threw it into traffic and that was actually ended up bad placement on the ball but he gets it anyway. We've done it again. Every time we seem to get into the red zone we go five wide. So Michael Thomas has picked it up. Trucks the defender and is in for a touchdown. It's another passing touchdown for us. So New England got a field goal out of that one. And if we keep scoring touchdowns, we're going to be okay. And Elliot gets a good hole there. I was going to say about him cutting it back again, but actually that was the better route for him. Obviously there are 3-4 defense, so it looks like they're running a blitz as well. We'll pick it, we'll pick it up. Uh, we're going to take the first down. Block for me. <laughs> we'll hand it off to Zeke. Massive hole. And he gets another seven, six yards on that. Or five. If I can't hit Olsen, I'll certainly look to hit Elliot or Moncrief, hopefully, on this. It's going to be a pick six, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's... Another terrible throw by me, and now we're losing. <sighs> the only points we've conceded are basically from turnovers. It's like the Buccaneers game in the preseason all over again. Okay, there's Olsen. We'll take that. Let's give it back to Elliot, see if he can break something, because he's not done a lot in this game. It's a good hole from the uh, offensive line that was opened there. So we'll hand it back off, and another massive hole. Unbelievable. I will look at Hearns probably on this. We're going to make sure that Crowell is blocking. Yeah, Hearns is my guy there. And he makes a nice cut as well. Ooh, that looks like a better matchup in terms of who we're blocking this time than it has all all drive. What? Wow. I thought he was going to end up losing yards there, but he somehow gets it up for a first down. It looks like man, maybe this time. And Michael Thomas is down on the one. It doesn't look like it's open, but you just never know. We're in. Okay. So we take the lead once again, 21 to 17. No more mistakes this game. Need to just keep getting first downs, points on the board. It's become more of a shootout than what I thought it was going to. But uh, yeah. Takes it past the so more good running from Elliot. So that's what I like to see. I mean, we've got nearly 100 yards more than what New England have because they had a short field on my first interception and a pick six with my second. So it's just not been a good game for me personally. I've come out in this second half and we're running hard. Like Elliot is is bossing it now. I always jinx it. He was bossing it. I see something that I like here. That safety's going to come on a blitz. So we'll throw it to Elliot. Nothing there. Okay. Now I bet they're in zone again, so we haven't really got much on. Michael. Oh, he dropped it. Come on. So we stopped New England again. Or maybe even turn them over, I don't know. But uh, we just need to get some points on the board because we can't be having drives like that again. Elliot, 16 rushes, 104 yards. Loving it. He's got four, I think, on the season so far. Another excellent run. Michael Thomas has dropped three passes now today. That's a lovely ball. 
Lovely route from Thomas, and he catches that one, takes us down into the red zone again. As much as I complain about Thomas dropping passes, I'm still going to go back to him, and that's the thing there. Interesting look. Why did he slide? I didn't want to slide, I wanted to dive. But we're going to go for the sneak again. It worked last time. Go to the heavy set. And we're in again. There we go. Two pass in, two rushing touchdown. And just same here to get the sixth career rushing touchdown of Tony Romo. I don't want that. I want to be passing it. Or at least get an Elliot to have the rushing touchdown. Or do the sneak, should I say. You can see there, New England under 200 yards total offense today. And we're on nearly 350, so it shows we're having a good game. We're going to go back to the tight end angle. Get some passing yards. We haven't had some. For, we haven't had a lot over the last few few drives. There go. Hit top, uh, Julius Thomas on that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they went for the two-point conversion and didn't get it, so that's good. But we can't we can't be fumbling the ball like that. We all know what happened against the Bucks when I ran this play, but uh, it's worked this time. And Alan Hearns has got some space. Gets us up to the 49-yard line of the Patriots. So. That's a nice, nice game. So give it to Elliot, and there's there's nothing there. There's nothing there. There really isn't. New England is just going to stuff the rush lanes and force me to throw it in the hopes that I turn it back over. We'll hit Elliot on his out, but I put him on, and he's got a first down. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, yards after the catch there. Nice little spin and a juke to get us the first down. Ultimately, I want to get some, some more yards and, uh, sorry, more points and more passing yards, but we'll give it to Elliot this time. Game. Okay. It just looks like they're all over the rushing, rushing game. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a flag as well. Does that mean... They took me down by my face cage, perhaps? Holding offense. Ugh. I'm going to roll out on this. Oh. How has that ended up happening? Okay. So we can get somebody open. Michael Thomas is going to be open there. And he catches that one and holds it. So we get the first down. Excellent catch from Thomas. And I'd say that's quite a clutch throw this late in the fourth quarter with the game on the line, essentially. With how Madden works, I'm pretty sure New England would go downfield and get a, get a field goal at least and end up winning the game. If we score, we win. If we kick a field goal or turn the ball over, we probably lose. It's as simple as that. We're going to hit Thomas. We're going to trust him this time. And I think he's got the first. Third and inches. Okay. We look like we're in a good formation for this. And Elliot just runs ahead. Gets like got five there, I think, in the end. We only needed one. I shouldn't keep, uh, keep trying to score. But, you know. This is Madden. It's the Patriots. Everyone hates the Patriots. I know everyone hates the Cowboys as well. I like the Cowboys. So we're going to run the score up anyway. Go on, Zeke. Get in. They still somehow stopped him short. Yeah, we're going to run it. Elliot in for the touchdown. There we go. They didn't get anything there. But I guarantee if we haven't scored, they would have. But um, yeah. We win, we go to 5-0, and oh. Patriots go to 1-5, and five. so that to me says uh, a good start. And despite having two interceptions, we did have four total touchdowns. So a quick look at the stats there, okay. The Patriots had more passing yards, but look at our rushing yards in comparison. So we're going to sim the training 
as always, we've got another upgrade we can have. I've got to actually upgrade strong arm by one. So we're up to an 87 overall, which is pretty, pretty good. Plus two awareness, plus three break sack, plus two play action, plus one throw deep accuracy. We are looking good. So Carolina, whose team are 75 overall, have driven down on the Dallas Cowboys, who are apparently 90 overall in this game, or this season, and gone 7 nothing up, so it's time for us to go back. Zeke has just had probably his longest run there, 18 yards on the first offensive play. That's, that's great. Let's go, Zeke. Three massive runs to start the game. Three rushes for 40 yards. Unbelievable. Elliot could have those 200 yards that he wants. Come on, Zeke. Jesus. Four rushes, 57 yards. He's nearly 15 yards per carry. Man, if Zeke's going to be running like that all game, are we going to need to pass? There we go. Ola Wale getting the ball. They make a tackle quite early on there, so I mean, six yards for us is is nothing compared to what Zeke's averaged. This looks like cover two. Or it's man. Michael Thomas fighting through five players to get the touchdown. My word. Stopped them on this drive, on their second drive. So we'll give it back to Elliot and hope that he can pick up another massive chunk of yardage and he gets another 12. This is ridiculous. What did Zeke have for breakfast in this uh, before this game? He's clearly had his Weetabix. Let's get, let's get Zeke a touchdown. I mean, it'll be his 40th career rushing touchdown. So that's something. How is he still going? Jeez. Let's see, take it. You can go the whole way if you want. Whoa. That spin move was disgusting. He broke two guys' ankles. Eight rushes for 98 yards. Woo. He's going back to it. He's going to have over 100 yards on like... 102 yards off nine carries and we're only in the first quarter. He's going to have 400 yards at this rate. So we will continue just to give the ball to, to Elliot. Why stop? On your bike. Runs over the safety-ish. Straight up the middle and he gets another... Seven. Finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And he's brought down. He was in the end zone before his knee was down, man. We're going to start playing, go and play action on the next drive. We're going to give it to him once. Excuse me? Uh, right, well, I'm not passing it. We're going to go power out. And there's Elliot in for a touchdown. 14 carries. 132 yards and a touchdown. As I say, we're going to give it to Elliot here. They did pin us back on our six-yard line. So, I mean, you know, clearly their punters had a good day. Give it to Zeke. He gets us a bit of room. We're going to go play action. Because if, if this doesn't work now, then it's never going to work any time. I think they're running zone. They are. So, actually, Thomas is open. The play action worked and... We're three for three for 52 yards today as well, so we're not having a bad game either. Let's go Zeke. Another huge hole. He probably could have gone just straight forward and got more, but, you know, I'm not going to complain to him today. I'm not going to moan about his running. Go again, lad. Woo. Another first down. Play action shot, Will. That sounds like a good one. This is definitely zone coverage, so it's whether they're cover two or cover three. Or a variant. Oh no! Man, Moncrief saved my bacon. Give it to Elliot straight up the middle with the full back in. And hopefully get a... My. The full back went through the gap, but the running back didn't. <laughs> right, I'm going to go back to the play action. So we've had a lot of success. Play action, it's Romo. 
There's Thomas again. Ooh. This is zone coverage. Oh, oof. He just comes down with the ball. He I was literally in the throwing motion and saw the defender coming across. He's like, that's a pick six if he gets it. Go on, Alan Hearns. In for a touchdown. And there we go. We're in two scores up now. Depending on the coverage, um, we may end up having... The, uh, the deep out. No. <laughs> that was oh, a bad read again. Today I've just been throwing the ball. No no concern for its safety, but uh, need to start doing that a bit more. We're going to hit. Well, we were going to hit also. I don't know what happened with the corner there. And we don't often throw it just straight vertical like to anybody. I feel like this could be the time to bring it out. Cover two. Yeah. We'll punt then, I guess. The problem is that we uh, haven't got any timeouts. So if we can get into uh, field goal range, then that'd be handy. Ah. Thomas, jump up, jump for that. Oh, he's got it. I did not expect him to come down with that. That's a, that's a great play or a great um great catch, should I say? Right, we set. They go play action here on first down. Flush to his right, and an alley to run. And he'll we're going to spike the ball and uh, let the kicker come out for a field goal. So it'll only be a 31-yard field goal. And we should get it. We do. And we get the ball back to start the second half. They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way. And Elliot just keeps picking up more yards. 19 rushes for 159 yards. Their score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, the two are right down the brink, aren't they? It can really benefit your team right now. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. No. He coughs it off. Loose football. And to the 43. He's been running so well. Just stopped him again. So, uh... Yeah, we'll take that. We're going to give it straight back to him. You know, we're not going to stop handing Elliot the ball just because he's fumbled it. That's awesome with a lovely catch against his former team. I forgot. There's no stopping it. Lovely run. Lovely blocking to set up that run. 193 yards for Elliot. Right back to him on first down. And he won't get much. Z gets hit short there, but he's up to 195 yards. We're going to definitely get him that 200. And, open up a crease that they can run and there it is. He's definitely got the 200 yards. 208 of 25 rushes. Now, the middle linebacker is not over Olsen, so I'm not too sure whether this is man or zone. It's man. And Thomas with another catch. We're going to go back to the same play. This is zone coverage. And worked hard to make it happen. Here's Romo now on six. Gonna hit Olsen again. And he's down to the five. Gonna hand the ball off. It just looks way more open than what the pass did. And that's a touchdown. We score again. Elliot is at the top of his game right now. Ooh, we're on our two yard line, okay. Can't afford a sack here. But with two and a half minutes left this third quarter. We look uh, pretty good. From the end zone, Romo. He couldn't quite hold Julius Thomas has been bad the last couple of games. They'll throw again from their own end zone. Thomas is Julius Thomas gets the ball and keeps hold of it that time. Gets five yards, uh, three yards. This looks like cover three. Able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. From his goal line here, Romo. There's Thomas again, wide open on it. And he's up to the 31 yard line, so we're over 200 yards passing. Let's go, Zeke. Plenty of space. 
somehow got dragged backwards. Pretty much evenly balanced between our rushing and passing attacks today, which is ridiculous. Now this looks like a man, this has a man coverage look, but uh, if we throw it outside, ooh. Oh, Elliot cuts it inside, but there wasn't really a lot there at all. We could have Olsen open on on the scene here. Nope, we're going to hit Hearns. Five wide. Looks like man. Michael Thomas picks up the first down. So we're just about at what we need to average per game. There's Alan Hearns. He's taken down at the two yard line. So we're getting there. They might not necessarily get open. So. And I'm in for a Russian touchdown. There we go. Sixth of the year. I like the run play that we've got Elliot all his yards on. The inside zone is what's got us all our yards this year on the run game, pretty much. So we'll keep doing it. I feel like he could end up being the player of the week this year. Or this week, should I say. And that's it's a good thing, but you know, I'm looking to get MVP. I'm not trying to get Elliot a second MVP. Alright, we'll give it to him again. Have a bit more of a traditional looking run offense or run formation. Bit of play action to Lovely catch from Hearns. It's very close to being knocked away, but we're up to 250 yards passing, so that's good. I'm going to run the stretch. It's not something we've run this like for a little while, but we're going to flip the way as well. As, uh, we have numbers on the, the left-hand side. It's a good bit of blocking. And Elliot stiff arms his man and is down at the two-yard line. He could quite easily have got a touchdown there, but he's unlucky. Oh, hit as we throw. Now it's zone. So we could have Olsen here. Gotta make sure Crowell's uh, blocking. Olsen just stood next to the defender. I'm not going to throw it to you there. Like, run the out. We're going to go no huddle and uh, try and get a touchdown on this play. Fourth and goal. Right, Thomas looks like he could be open here. He is. Touchdown. I don't even care. We're just going to keep throwing the ball. Got to hit Olsen again. He runs his runs the defender open, over. 38 has been run over quite a few times, in truth. Ah. So I'm looking to hit Olsen again here, I think, if it's zone. It is. We're going to run it. Slide. And we're down at the three-yard line. I'm going to take a timeout. I'm going to score. We're going to put a 50-burger on Carolina. There's Thomas open again for another touchdown. What's that? Four touchdown passes on the day? I'll take it. We win 52 to seven. Absolutely destroyed the, the Panthers. They scored on their first drive and that was it. Michael Thomas tied it up with an absolutely brilliant play on the goal line, smashing through like five defenders. Look at that, that is terrible stats from Carolina. I want to see whether Cam Newton was actually playing. If he was, then they need to Oh dear lord, it was. We have yet another player upgrade that we can make. And we're going to go field general again. It looks like this is going to actually increase our overall to 88. Or we're already at an 88. With the confidence of plus one. On our, on our rating. So I think we stay at an 87 for 
uh, strong arm, but we get a plus one on play action, throw accuracy mid and throw on the run, plus two short accuracy. So we're getting there, we really are. And finally, we're looking like a, a proper NFL quarterback. But that is going to be it for this week's episode of Undrafted to MVP. So as always, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including weekly episodes of Undrafted to MVP, then please subscribe and I will see you next time.